Hey guys, so I have this air condition and one of the issues that I'm having is uh, my uh, fan um, in this uh, air handler is uh, constantly on and uh, one thing I notice is the outside unit is not on only this guy is on so we're gonna be troubleshooting that now there's a couple of things um, the first that you need to check is uh, check on the um, inside thermostat and uh, what we see is inside thermostat is okay completely fine uh, what I did was I unplugged it I even took the wires out from the thermostat to make sure there was nothing triggering inside the thermostat and uh, that was uh, uh, that's what it was there was nothing that was triggering from there so I knew there's something in this circuitry inside this air handler that is causing the constant run of the fan and the outside unit is not running so I know the command for turning this on is not coming from the thermostat uh, it is something with this inside so we're gonna open this up and take a look okay so there are four screws that I got out from here and uh, we're just gonna lift this panel your air handler is on you're gonna see a lot of suction okay so now the main circuit board is right here and everything is behind this circuitry so to get this out I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove these three screws and uh, on the top and get this out of the way uh, now you have to be careful guys there's uh, 220 coming right here there's all this is energized so be very careful um, I suggest if you can turn this unit off and then do it that's the much safer way I'm going to do it while everything is alive but if you're doing it this way you have to be very careful I really suggest that you turn everything off then take everything off before troubleshooting uh, and then you can always turn it back on because if there's a constant supply most likely it'll stay constant so uh, the main reason, uh, let's talk about the main reason why this thing is happening. So uh, we have a bunch of circuitry, all these small wires are coming from the thermostat. And uh, you know, uh, one of them is going to the thermostat, the other one is going to the outside unit. And basically what's happening is, if the, normally the trigger comes in from here and tells the fan to come on in the air handler as soon as you turn the unit on from the thermostat. Um, there is a small relay uh, in some units you might see like a pickup relay uh, and those are very obvious um, they fail sometimes they stay picked up causing the fan to run in this case it's a small relay and that's what I'm doubting that that relay has gone bad and uh, may need a replacement but the problem with these small relays is you can't really do much uh, you have to replace the entire circuit board uh, and that's another thing that there might be something wrong with the entire circuit board that you have to replace let's take a look uh, what our culprit is so I got the cover removed and to remove the cover all I had to do was remove the three screws at the bottom the top I didn't have to remove because it was just sitting over there so uh, so this is the black relay and I doubt that this is kind of stuck open so for testing purpose what I did was I removed this uh, blue wire from the very bottom connector and this is the trigger that is going to to the motor it's a gentech motor and uh, if you need to understand how this whole thing works there is on a uh, completely different video that i made which i'm going to leave it in the description below uh, that'll ex help you explain the entire wiring in the system uh, but that blue wire is basically this top wire which is the trigger and uh, this green is uh, kind of like the common that's the same wire as this one so so uh, I'm going to turn the unit on and see if the fan comes on since it does not have any trigger. So, all right. So I turn it on and uh, the fan came on even without the trigger. So that tells me there's something is uh, not right, right? It should not have come on. So that kind of points me towards the module back there that is acting up again uh, with the constant run because it should not have come on with this trigger point off so that tells me my circuit board is good it's not sending a trigger 
and if it's and I remove the other one too and it's not so basically it's not sending any control voltage to that so that should not have come on but uh, then it's constantly running meaning it's not even waiting for that trigger point it just kicks on right away so one of the next tests I did is uh, even though my wires are removed and I shouldn't be getting any trigger to the fan what I did was I wanted to make sure eliminate my board to make sure there's nothing wrong with the board and uh, what you need to look for is 25 or 30 volt AC coming to these point which is the trigger point which sends a trigger to the fan and uh, tells the fan to come on or off so what I did was I had somebody turn on the uh, thermostat from inside to uh, nice cold when it's supposed to kick off the uh, unit and uh, as soon as they did that I heard the relay pick up which kind of uh, told me that there is there's nothing wrong with the relay itself so since I know the relay picked up I expect to see 25 volt AC right here at these uh, at these points and uh, I'm going to and make sure you guys do that very safely it's hard to do it with one hand let me see if I can put one of the ports inside touching it right now and you can see I can see 28.3 volt uh, so since my blue wire is uh, tapped to the bottom one I see that there is 25.3 volts close to 30 volts so anywhere between 25 to 30 volt AC that means the board is working so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the thermostat and measure it over here again to make sure there is no voltage present Okay, so now the thermostat is showing it's off and uh, I'm going to do my test again. Okay, so I'm holding on and I don't see any voltage on this. So that kind of tells me that uh, this board is functioning properly uh, and it has nothing to do with the board itself. It's something inside there um, that is doing that whole thing. So something is definitely not right with this module on the motor module uh, on the back side and again I have a completely different video on showing how to replace that module how to do the wiring and everything so check out my other video but this is the troubleshooting um, the confirmation that the module has gone bad and in some cases when the module goes bad either your fan is completely dead or your fan just keeps running like this one is so that's the conclusion of this video guys. Uh, if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.